I think the way you start with this turnaround, this business, and it's something they're already embarking on, is making more decisions at the local and regional level. I think one of the missteps the company's had this past year is trying to a one-size-fits-all approach, where, where you have the products that are rolled out nationwide. I think they need to look at kind of the local demand and, and you know the different preferences, taste preferences, different demographics in each market, and start to come out with more localized product uh, uh, decisions and localized marketing decisions as well. Because I think that uh, will start to you know resonate with consumers. Uh, certainly. You can attract a different audience that way, and I think that's the starting point. Uh, but again, it's not going to happen overnight either. I said that you know Don uh, Thomas was a good operator and uh, affable guy, but but it didn't uh, inspire franchisees or, or something to the extent that they needed to be. Will that help? I mean, what what can a franchisee on his own do or, or her own do to, to reignite uh, sales? Yeah. Here? I, I think from what, from what I've heard from franchisees that actually Steve Easterbrook had some very interesting ideas uh, that just weren't acted upon at the top level. So I, I think that, that, you know, speaking with a couple of franchisees last night, uh, it does sound like there's some optimism with, uh, the, with the, uh, the new ideas that Steve's bringing to the table. Uh, he gave a presentation at the company's November 2013 Analyst Day really talking about some of the advanced metrics to look at customer engagement. Uh, it does give you kind of some hope that he understands what the customers are looking for. Then again, the big challenge is whether or not the company can give what consumers uh, are looking for RJ, right when now. You, you just talked about lo lo how do you do localized? How does so that make think sense in a grand sort of franchise system where I imagine the savings, the savings are in the synergies of providing the same product everywhere? Yeah, I think I think you still have to have a broad, uniform menu across a number of the markets, but you allow for a, a percentage of uh, you know variation within the, the regional markets. I don't think you do it at the at the local market, but certainly a region by region. Company has 22 operating regions within the U.S. I think that you can do uh, you know some variation. You know, probably you know, a quarter of the menu. Uh, you know, have some variance uh, at the regional level. I think that's a starting point to to kind of get people back. Uh, you know, interested in the story. Certainly, you know, uh, attract a wider audience. I think that's a starting point. That certainly won't happen overnight.